The anointing lives inside of you. It's not some ethereal mystery that you only can come into contact with on Sunday. The anointing lives inside of you, in the schoolroom of your body. If your heart is on a Christ axis, you will know this to be true. And you'll get to know that voice within you, that unction, that intuition, if you like, the voice of God. Jesus Christ himself tells us about the clarity with which we can hear his voice. John 10, verse 27 to verse 30. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. What a beautiful piece of scripture. The words of the tutor himself. That's Christ in you, the hope of glory. The anointing in you will give you confidence when you're weak, when you feel nothing at all, but inside you know that you know. That knowing will give you faith when all the voices around you are saying otherwise. It will prove itself to you as you learn to listen. The power of that will end up in whatever you do. The nature of it is prophetic because it's the heart and the mind of God igniting in other people the same hunger for the Lord. It's the teacher in you speaking to the teacher in them. The scripture tells us in Isaiah 10 verse 27 that the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. How full is your school book? Are you releasing and breaking the bondages over people's lives as well as your own? Something that they can be inspired to, so they can grow and understand who the Lord really is and the right concepts of God. Why don't we look a little further into the makeup of the anointing oil in the Old Testament so we can understand more about the anointing. Isn't it amazing? The Holy Spirit is a teacher. The Bible says that all things dwell within us by the Holy Spirit. And we can have the mind of Christ when we learn to listen to him, when we learn to listen to the voice of God. And that includes the songs and the melodies from heaven. Chris, you're a qualified teacher. What, what do you think of that? I think the essential issues of learning uh, are that, A, you listen. Mm. I mean, how many teachers, for goodness sake, are always saying to the class, will you please listen? Listening is an essential uh, part of it. Mm. But secondly, a respect for the person who is sharing mm. and, and telling you. You yeah. trust that what they have to say is yeah. worth hearing. Yeah. But the third ingredient is the ingredient of doing what they teach. Yeah. In other words, we outwork what the Holy Spirit teaches us. Yeah. And uh, that's such an important part of our learning part of our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. If you love me, yeah. do what I say. Yeah, that's true, Chris. You know, the Bible says in the book of Revelations, when Jesus exhorted the churches, have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's vitally important that we learn to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit as he works within and around our lives. You know,